support. Okay. So good morning, everyone. Good morning. We were just having a chat before the chat um, about some things going on in the crypto industry and our, our businesses, respectively, and just girl talk, which is always fun to have girl talk with a bunch of boss ass women. If y'all offended by curse words, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so my name is Pam Peebles and I am one of your co-hosts for what is now Coffee and Crypto. But as a Monday of next week, we actually are shifting gears a little bit. We've had a lot of great success with Coffee and Crypto and in a very short amount of time. And so our desire is to get in front of more women and have more impact and change more lives. And so as of Monday, uh, June 7th, we will be going five days a week for crypto and coffee. We've just rebranded a little bit, crypto and coffee. And also we have a new co-host. It is me and my girl, Frances, and now my my dear friend Marilyn and so the three of us will be on Monday through Friday it's also going to be at 10 a.m ladies so our time is changing 10 a.m Monday through Friday and we're going to be talking about all kind of crazy ish you know what's going on in the crypto market how to prepare yourself for retirement you know if you want to stay at home with your kids we're going to cover it all the different ways that you can make money in this crypto space is really a blessing to be able to um, set this show up and share the online stage with my beautiful sisters. So let me introduce them to you briefly. We have Frances Rodriguez and we have Marilyn Mills. Frances, take a second and tell us a little bit about yourself. Good morning, ladies. This is always like my getaway time from all the craziness. <laughs> And just to really come, like Pam said, hang out with women who um, just have vision. There's things that you know you want to do. And there's my toddler. Um, a couple of months ago, hey, Amara, do you just want to talk about crypto for me? Um, a couple of months ago, you know, I was doing the traditional thing, working a corporate job anywhere from 40 to 60 hours a week. And I got introduced to the space of crypto and it radically changed my life. Um, I get to stay home with my daughter now and just really understanding the different aspects of this space and what's really available here is what changed everything for me. Because at the age of 30, I can say I, I will never be employable again. And that's not like a statement to just be funny, but it really is once you see what's possible and then you do it in this space, you never go back. And so I'm just really grateful to be connected to women like Pam, like Marilyn that are having conversations at the same level, but also at a basic enough level, like break this down and tell me what this really means. And so my goal has just always been now that I'm taking in all the crypto you know, education to be able to just break it down for people in a make it make sense for me way. Sometimes we, we have to talk about it like it's real estate or it's something more relatable for people. So that's my goal. Um, I have two kids. I get to stay home now and really just do whatever I want. If I don't feel like working a day, I don't have to. <laughs> like shout out to crypto because passive, right? So thank you, ladies. Marilyn, I'll hand it over to you. This woman right here, like, I can't even say enough about the radical growth that she's experiencing and is about to experience. So I'll let you tell the world a little bit about you because girl, <laughs> I'm waiting for this story all across the stages. I just cannot follow your edification, uh, Francis. You are the bomb at it. But um, yeah, I actually got started. Um, let me back up a bit. I met Pam back in 2000 maybe 11, 12-ish, something like that. And I actually joined one of her coaching programs. I was working a full-time job. I took the information and I ran with it because I was in a situation where I was a single mom, but I was working 12, 14 plus hours per day. I didn't have a whole lot of time to spend with my kids. So I wanted to be there for them. And that first co coaching program, I, I know it's not a whole lot of money, but 
when I saw that I had people signing up for my program, mind you, I'm going off what I'm being taught. And she was there holding my hand every minute. And the first time I saw 16 grand in my bank account, it was like I had won a lot. Oh, that's that's a lot of money for a single parent with two kids. So I'm like, people are actually paying me for this information. And so I was able to leave my nine to five and do that. Lo and behold, COVID happened. And during the same time, my coaching program got shut down because Facebook changed the algorithm. My whole account got shut down. So I was back in a space where I needed to supplement my income. So I went back into the, um, the workforce and I was working at a bank, Francis, <laughs> working at a bank up until I started to dabble in cryptocurrency. Pam was in my inbox again. It was like, girl, you know anybody want to learn crypto? And I was like, me, pick me. I want to learn. I was already all in. One, because I know Pam and I know what she's helped me do in the past. And two, if she's involved in it, there's some money behind it. And I'm not getting left behind. So in my crypto journey, I started to notice that my portfolio started to outweigh my paycheck. And with me juggling a job, you know, versus doing crypto, I just decided my husband and I, we sat down, I showed him the numbers. I was making in my, my portfolio and then I showed him my paycheck and he was like, it just makes sense. You know, go all in because I'm at my job literally typing and talking to my customers and trying to look at my checks and keep up with what's going on. It just got to be too much. So I had to make a decision. Which one is going to pay me more? Which one is going to be more beneficial for me? Am I going to stay here and stay stuck, you know, like a, a mouse on a wheel trying to get, you know, just from a from point A to point B, and that's really as, as far as you can go. And I'm not I'm not knocking a job because I've I've worked my whole life, but for me it just makes sense to not work for the money, but let the money work for me. Okay, so and I'm enjoying this crypto space. I love 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 having these money friends, these money conversations. You know, it's like girl. What's your portfolio look like today? Are you going to buy some Ethereum? It's like shopping at the mall, but we're shopping for crypto. It's like, girl, I think I'm going to get me some Ethereum, um, some Litecoin. Is that Litecoin on sale today? Give me some of that. Put that in my car. <laughs> so I'm just loving this space, guys. I don't want to, I don't want to um, keep rambling. But Pam, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Well, let, let, me, throw, let me throw this in and, and say this. Um, in case... Um, in case y'all are missing what Marilyn just said, she just said that she quit her job, J-O-B. She walked away from it. Now, let me, let me get a little comfortable because I'm about to preach for a second. <laughs> now, this wasn't after 10 years. This was after a few months, a few months that she was able to make more on her portfolio and see that the business opportunity, which is what we'll be sharing with you later, could replace her income in a few months. And she said, you know what? I'm not where I wanna be, but I am quickly on the way. And she just said, bye, I'm done. Yeah. Wow. You know, yeah. my, my, my two-year-old granddaughter, she goes, bye mommy, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm I'm done with this and that's so powerful to hear especially for any woman that's watching this that's working on nine to five and trust me I've done it I've been unemployable for 27 years I've been self-employed but um back at the time where I was working I wasn't making any money and I'm not knocking any woman because I, I believe in respecting women. I don't knock anyone's hustle, regardless of what that hustle may be. I believe that you should do any and everything that you need to in order to support your family and support yourself. As long as it's legal and you ain't hurting nobody, I don't care what it is. But we're, we were not put on this earth to just work. Just, you know, it, it is such a beautiful feeling. And I'm going to stop rambling in a second. I shouldn't have had that second cup of coffee. But we, we were not put in this world to just show up at a job all day, work all day, come home, take care of our respective families all evening, 
and then go to sleep and start all over again the next day. One of the things I love most about being self-employed is that I can show up whenever I want, even though I do have certain things on my schedule such as this, but after this, I can go do whatever I want to do. I can travel wherever I want to travel to. I can run my business as long as I got, I keep an iPad, uh, iPhone, and a MacBook Pro. And my entire business can travel with me. I don't know a whole lot of people that can say that and make tens of thousands of dollars on a, a monthly or yearly basis, hundreds and millions even. So I say all that to say, keep an open mind as we talk a little bit. We set up this coffee and crypto session just as a way to have open dialogue, to give you an open mind. Because at the end of this, we are going to invite you to join our team. We are going to invite you to be part of our business. But it's totally different than anything I've ever been involved in. And I have been self-employed for 27 years. I have done it all. I've done brick and mortar businesses. I've had 15 plus employees who I had to write a payroll check for every single week. I have done it all and I've traveled all over the world. I have seen a lot of things, but nothing quite like this. And when I say it is life changing, I came out of retirement after six years of just being retired because I said, you know what? I am not going to miss out on this. This is a lot of money that's going to be made and not just the money because I already am set, but Nobody, I'm, listen, I'm like anyone else. I'm good, but I can always be better. So don't get me wrong when I say I'm set. I love making money, but I love what it does for me and my family, not just the money aspect. And I know that my passion is helping women. And just like Marilyn, Marilyn's life was forever changed. You know, we started early on. And if Marilyn's okay with me saying this, I'm sure she is, but I'm gonna say it anyway. There was a little doubt going on there, you know, that she didn't, she couldn't do it. And I was like, girl, you are brilliant. Now you just need to be bold. And I told her early on, she was doing everything all nice. I said, no, girl, we need to break some shit. We need to get some things done. You need to let people know that you exist and that you are capable. And next thing you know, this girl was sending me a message to my girl, I quit my job. And I was like, what? She had just quit, quit, quit and walked away. And when you're a single mom, and I was there years ago, when you're a single mom and this is your only source of income, it is a powerful statement to say, I walked away from what I was doing that secured me and mine. And that now I'm bringing in half, basically what she was making in a year, she made that in over half of it in a month time. Mm -hmm. And the same thing is getting ready to happen here. And so whoever is on this session right now, you're here for the right reason. You don't even have a clue. If you accept this uh, invitation to work with us, you have no clue how your life is about to be blessed, how it's about to be changed and the things that are getting ready to unfold for you. But I'm just letting you know, before we start the other crypto talk, that it's only a few of us here and that's for a reason. Sometimes you can have the most impact with less people. And yeah. the, the fact when Marilyn told me last week, she was like, yeah, I quit. And I, you know, cause we, we done this before. And I knew when she said she was quitting, she was quitting. But I said, oh, okay, well, when? She said, today. <laughs> and I said, you know, Marilyn. <laughs> and I said, today? I said, oh, I honestly, I was like, oh shit, we gotta get to work. <laughs> this yeah. time, she just walked away because she knew what I see, what Francis see, that it's the time. And usually at the beginning of our sessions, I always play It's My Time by Kelly Price because I just really feel like it's our time as women to not just make an impact in our own life and our family's life, our grandkids or generations to come. But to, to share this message with other women because they may not have women in their life who are having these wealth conversations, who are having the conversations that saying, listen, I can lead you to a six-figure income without you having to show up anywhere. If I wasn't on this crypto and coffee right now, I wouldn't even have my hair comb or a little bit of makeup on. I didn't do much, but at least I combed my hair. But I wouldn't even do that. I would be in a little, you know, ratty ponytail with something on. Um, that wasn't as, as half decent as this, <laughs> but the reality <laughs> is, is that we have some powerful women. And today, uh, let me change this screenshot here for my co-host. Cause I kind of took over the conversation, but, um, today we're going to have this conversation about the power of crypto and ladies, just what I want you to do. And this is an open dialogue. Um, for those of you who are on this call with us, we're just going to talk about a couple of things. We're going to talk about the power of crypto. We're going to be talking about how you can use cryptocurrency 
as a way to retire yourself. And I'm not talking about in 20 or 25 years, I'm talking about in two or three years um, or in Maryland in two, three months. <laughs> yeah, I, I just wanna say that um, I did quit my job. I walked away from it, but I didn't do it because I thought of what I thought the company was gonna do for me. I did it when I saw what the company was doing for me. That's when I walked away from my job, not because I had a good feeling of, about what was going to happen down the road. It was because I literally saw my bank account change in the few months that I was doing it. And so I figured if I can do this while working eight hours per day, sometimes 10 hours per day, imagine what I can do if I go all in. That's right. So I just wanted to clarify that. I didn't just walk away without just, just knowing, okay, this is going to do this. You know, I saw it happen. Mm -hmm. And it's still happening. And I and I can't stop refreshing my screen sometimes, Pam. I know you say, sis, stop refreshing your screen. <laughs> and I'm seeing those, those those digits. You know, I love commas in my bank account. They just give me the chills. <laughs> Listen, we I, I know the feeling. One of the things that we um, you know, we've been very blessed. We, you know, have saved, you know, some decent money and we have different investment accounts and savings accounts and stuff like that but we had one particular savings account we had 50 grand in it and i kid you not we this is part of the reason why we got into crypto is because i kept looking at that account and every month we would get like a dollar three that's what the bank was paying me like a dollar wow. three per month because the money was just it was just sitting there you know it, it just been sitting there for years and it's just been sitting there a dollar three which means that on a yearly basis i made maybe 12 bucks for and this was a high yield savings account this was mm -hmm. a high yield savings account and you know um we don't spend a whole lot of money um on on junk stuff you know we we live intentionally and but i also want my money to grow for me you know i don't i don't ever want to have to go back to a point where i'm working this doesn't feel like work to me so this is not working but i never want to go back to a point where i feel like i have to work you know that i have to show up at a job or i have to show up to do something because i don't i haven't invested properly so i'm 50 years old i'll be 51 this year and i'm starting to think a lot more about what retirement looks like you know what does retirement look like um, when I no longer want to do anything, you know, I, I took off for six years, but now I'm like, okay, you know, let's take another run for this. We want to pick up another, we're buying a home here in the Carolinas, but we also want to buy another home in Mexico. So, you know, I want to be able to support all of those dreams and all of our endeavors. So Francis, why, what, what does, <laughs> let's talk about the power of crypto a little bit. What, what made you decide to really start investing in crypto? Ah, this is like, it's one of my favorite questions, I guess, because of my background. So most of my career, all of it really was in financial services. So banking, insurance. Um, and I, I always had to be the person that saw the money. And I know that sounds crazy, but when I say the person that saw the money, I also mean the lack thereof, right? Because Pam just broke down having $50,000. I mean, you can have that in the best money market account right now. And it's still not going to yield you much of anything. And so for me, when I came across, I actually came across this space on accident, crypto, not on accident, but kind of because I was connected to this space through a different skill because I love the skill of trading in the market. But when I got introduced to like a real crypto conversation, it made sense to me for one big reason. It's an appreciating asset. So maybe you're on here, you don't really know what that means. In simplest terms, whatever you invest is going to grow as the value of that invest, like uh, of whatever you invested in grows, right? So Bitcoin, for example, we all know about 10 years ago, that thing was less than a dollar. And I won't tell Pam's story. She might tell it on one of these shows, one of these days, maybe next week. But um, the biggest thing for me was looking at it really for what it was, even though I didn't fully understand it, because I didn't, I was programmed to know money, the US centralized banking system way of knowing money. Like, yeah, this CD is great, but I know in the pit of my stomach, you're not gonna come back to a thousand dollars in a year when this is all said and done. And so I just made sense of it for what it was for me. And for me, it was the fact that 
I could put a hundred dollars into a coin that's a penny. And because we see what's happening in the market and we know it's going to go to five cents or more, I understood that that meant, whoa, wait, but if I buy it at a penny and it goes to five cents, my initial investment, because this is an asset that's going to grow, is going to five times with, with that. And so that's really what made the most sense for me was there is literally no U.S. bank account, traditional investment, nothing. And when we get to talking about retirement, <clears throat> I'll, I'll mention a couple of other things that for me as someone who's a little younger, it, it made even more sense to me because I know the numbers. Like anyone can lie. Any financial advisor can tell you, you know, this is the best place to put your money. Keep in mind, ladies, because we're all women on here. I, I had to walk into rooms and try to compete <clears throat> with men who have been in this industry for years and years and years. Although I came to the plate with just as much education, maybe not as much field experience, but I knew what I was talking about. And so when you get to come into a space like this and really get to dominate in your own way, it's powerful because you control the moves that you make in this market. And <clears throat> that was the other big thing for me was to see people that looked like me, mainly women, right, of all color, race different backgrounds, be able to come to this space and be represented. Because now, for the first time in a really long time, there are women that are able to take a position in this space and get ahead of billion dollar corporations. That's not normal. And so I understood seeing a lot of that. Like, this was my exact thought. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I looked at it and I don't know what the hell they are doing with this crypto stuff, but I need to know because I knew coming from financial services that the biggest financial institutions out here were making the same move. So what do I not know on the consumer end that I need to know on the investor end? And that's really it for me. That was it. And I just said, I'm going all in. I don't care what this takes to learn, but I need to really learn how to position myself in this world where I'm seeing other women like me at 35 years old with seven figure portfolios, that is not normal. There are no traditional investments that are gonna do that for you. So that was really it. Like I had to make it make sense for me for what it really was. There's nothing in the world paying like this. So that, that was really it. And from there, it just kind of opened this big can of worms for me. Um, I had muted myself. I think that that information is so important to people because they don't really understand. And if, if, you, if you don't have access to people who are speaking wealth into your life, who are speaking about normalizing things, you know, um, my best friend, she lives in uh, Mexico. She travels back and forth a lot. And we talk a lot about, um, you know, that you can't have some conversations with people because it's not that you feel like you're better than them, but it's like, they're not ready to have that conversation. They're not ready to have conversations about, um, you know, moving abroad, travel, traveling and moving abroad really opens us up to a whole new way of thinking. And honestly, to be able to have those types of conversations with people about, you know, making living normal normalizing living normalizing being being able to travel you know not a once a year thing you know i don't take vacations i go have experiences now um i don't believe that you know you're meant to live in one place and die there i, I know that there are so many countries we haven't visited yet that we still need to tackle but none of those things are possible without the finances and the resources and my retirement and my husband's retirement, our plan is to, you know, get out and explore more and go back to Mexico and buy a property there. You can't have those conversations with everybody. You need to be in a community of people who are open-minded, who have access to resources and who are willing to share them with you. And that's one of the things that's been so critical for me coming here. Um, I can make money doing anything, but I want to make it with people that I love and people that I care about and more importantly, be able to show it and share it with people that I love and care about. So crypto is it for me. I talk about how much I love it, maybe a little bit too much, but I'm really obsessed with it because I see the changes that it's making, not only in my life, but in my kids' life, in my friends' life, and you know, ladies in our community. 
So Marilyn, I'll ask you the same question. What, what has crypto done for you and why did you get into it? I, I, I know a little bit about why, but at the same time, there had to be something like where you was priming yourself where you like, you know, this is it for me because walking away from your job is sort of big and saying, you know what, this is, I, I found my calling. So what was it that made you know? I think for me in the beginning, Pam, it was the community. Um, just like Pam said, the community of women, I was blown away with um, not only who Wanda was, but her position. And to know that she was just like so far up from where we were, but we had that immediate access to her, that changed my mind about pursuing the opportunity. The other thing was when I got in, I was I was kind of lax about it because I was more focused on, you know, making my money at my job, being a good um, employee until I actually got inside and created my first crypto.com account just to say, well, I know how to teach people how to set it up or whatever, you know, if anybody wanted to come in and learn, I could assist them with this. But when I actually started to put some money in there and I saw that um, if I put $100 in a savings at a bank and I went back and I checked it six months later, I would still have the same $100. But if I put it in my crypto.com wallet and I came back and it was now $300, that did it for me. I'm like, this money is moving. But the sister, that I, when, I, when I first heard, you know, it's always moving, it's always moving. I never really looked into it to see what they meant. It opened my eyes, it's moving, but it's not $100, it's 200 in here. I could take out 200 and still have 100 left. That was mind blowing for me. And the other thing is back to the community, the women, these conversations, these conversations about um, empowerment and just uplifting women and giving women advice, financial advice, not what kind of, um, um, what, co what color your nails gonna be this weekend. It's like, girl, um, what do you have in your portfolio? You need to get some of this right here. Okay, you know, put me up on game about my money. Because I feel like at this point, if I if there are 10 people in the room and I'm the smartest person in there, I need to find another room. Because y'all can't teach me nothing. And that space of, of, of having that information just, just readily available, whether it's through the Learning Academy or one of the women that I've come in contact with is something that happens on a regular basis. It's like texting your bestie about whatever's going on in life. It's like, girl, did you see um, Ethereum and, and Matic? And I'm like, what is it? I really don't know what it is, but if it's gonna make me some money, let me know, cause I'm gonna get some too, okay? So it's just the whole arena. I mean, there is, you can see an aura around these women when we have these conversations, we are genuinely, they're happy, you know? It's not, girl, I'm trying, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to um, find something else to do because this ain't working. Everybody has success stories. And that's why I, I decided to shift my focus here because all you have to do is say yes. And you're gonna see results. You'll see results if you put your mind to it. You'll see results because we have women who don't mind stepping down from their positions. And in this, in, in this arena, nobody is better than another. You know, they, they're not so high up that you can't reach them. And that's, that, was, that to me was so appealing because I've, I've done stuff in the past where I couldn't get help from the other person and I had to schedule a time to talk to them and they go, oh, I actually was involved with this one opportunity and the guy got back to me two years later. He inboxed me two years later because the company had gone under and he found another opportunity and wanted to bring me along. And I was like, no, you already showed me what kind of support I'm gonna get from you. So no, why would I follow you? I got nothing from you. But here it's, it's just constant. I mean, we constantly give advice. We constantly hold each other's hands until we fall asleep. I was texting Pam the other day. She said, oh, girl, I'm sorry, I fell asleep. We woke up in a money conversation. <laughs> That's crazy, like, okay, yeah, let's just pick up where we start off. Okay, you said what now? <laughs> and the other thing is just, it's just fun. It's fun 
being around people, you know, and having these talks and these conversations and learning new stuff, I found myself watching the um, money networks more now than Lifetime. I'm, I'm trying to see what crypto is doing. What is crypto doing today? What's going on here? Let's go over here to gecko.com and see what we got going on today. That's what I do now. I even downloaded it on my phone. You know, I'm watching, I'm looking at this stuff every day. Even when I'm in the grocery store, sometimes I'm scrolling and I'm pushing my car, checking my finances here. <laughs> That's what I do now. It's no more scrolling Facebook to see, you know, who's doing what or Instagram. I'm, I'm checking my money to see what's going on. And it gets addictive, guys. It really does. I'm refreshing my screen. Like Pam said, sis, stop refreshing your screen. I can't help it. This is a whole new, this is a whole new area of life. You know, I've made money in the past, but this right here, it's just so exciting to, to, to be a, a part of. It's exciting to do, and it's contagious. It's addictive. It's contagious because when I saw women, you know, like me, I mean, I'm not a rich woman, you know, I'm not um, a supermodel type, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider myself, the, you know, one of those high level influencers or whatever. But these women, they're just amazing. And to see so many, guys, I really think that 1%, you know, the 1% of wealthy, that number is getting ready to go up. And we're going to be a part of why that number goes up. So Pam, you can ask me all day long, you know, what, it, what I mean, I can give you a thousand reasons why I'm here. And we'll be talking the whole meeting. <laughs> well, and... I, I think that's it's a powerful statement though because we we do we talk all the time about it, but there's such powerful conversations and conversations that need to be had. You know, there are conversations that need to be had because listen, you and you guys probably wouldn't be surprised, but less than 15% of crypto investors are women. And the 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 fact that we hey Pam, really quick, I it's actually 9%. That's crazy. But I'll let you go ahead. I was I was floored. Yes, 9%. That's even worse. I was trying to give us a little bit more credit. <laughs> but, so less than 10% of crypto investors are women. It's insane that we are not making more noise. It's insane that we are not reaching more women. And and again, that somebody could come in with a very small amount of money. This is not about, you know, this is not stock market. You don't have to have $1,000 to invest. You could literally come in with $100 and just let it sit there. And I'll tell you how powerful these numbers are. This is compound interest. If you're not familiar with compound interest, this is how it works. Back in whenever Bitcoin started, it was introduced to me and... It was nothing. It wasn't even, I don't think, one cent. And my friend told me, well, you know, just put a thousand dollars in it and let it sit there. And if I remember correctly, it was like for five years, but whatever the case, he told me to just let it sit there, put a thousand dollars into it. Well, um, it was this young guy, and truthfully, I just didn't trust him. You know, I, I he wasn't speaking a language I understood. He didn't take the time to explain the blockchains or um, decentralized banking or any of this stuff to me. So what he, what it sounded like was, you know, somebody just trying to get me to put money somewhere and he was going to profit because he didn't even take the time to explain to me that he wasn't going to make any money off of it. So I didn't listen to him. Time came around again. I didn't listen, didn't listen. And, you know, story goes on and on and on. It's a very sad story, but <laughs> um, had I made that investment, Bitcoin right now is almost at $40,000 again. And it would be worth over 400, it would be worth close to 400 million. And we're talking over a 10 year period of time. I don't know about you, but 400 million is life changing, not just for me, but for so many other people, because uh, we couldn't spend that in a lifetime, even if we, well, we could, but we wouldn't. And there could have been so many lives that would have been changed. So I missed that time before. I really missed that opportunity, but I'm not going to miss that opportunity Again, I'm not going to allow um, myself again to miss out on a chance to empower women, to change their lives, to 
um, be out here and make that type of difference. I'm not going to allow that to happen again. And, you know, it all came down to taking action. I, it wasn't even a lot of actions. I just needed to set up an account um, and put a little bit of money in and I could have left it there. But at that time I made a decision not to and that decision it cost me millions of dollars, not thousands, millions. So I say that to say, um, now I'm much smarter, I'm wiser, um, and I'm, I'm not gonna allow that to happen to me again. And this is now for me about retirement. You know, again, I'm 50 years old, I'll be 51 this year, and I have grandkids now, and all I wanna do is travel. You know, I just wanna travel the world and live my best life and be unapologetic about it. I don't wanna have to worry about if I take a trip. I see so many people that go and take trips and they are financially stuck, you know, because they've spent money on a trip that they really couldn't afford to do. I want to normalize that for the women in our community. I want to normalize just popping up and we have masterminds in Mexico or we go to Aruba or we go to um, Italy or we go anywhere that we want to. I, I just want to plot, you know, I just want to plan trips for our, the people in our community or the women specifically in our community where, you know, it's 10 of us there and we just say, listen, let's go you know, over to Croatia, you know, just live and to make money in the process. And for this to be a normal thing where I'm not having to pull people's hair and say, you know, let's go on this trip because I know that the women in my community have access to two or three thousand dollars. It's disposable and more than anything that they know that this is going to be a week of masterminding and investing in your personal development and your future. So mentally that's where I'm at with our community. I'm in a space of wanting to share in abundance with anyone who's willing to partner with us to be able to give them access, not just to um, the resources on how to invest and buy, invest, buy, hold, trade crypto, because that in itself is powerful, but it's having access to women who wanna make sure you win and who are not just gonna step on your head to get to the top, because that's a really big thing is being able to hold somebody's hand and say, listen, let's all go together. Let's." Let's cross over this and, and make this money together. It's very powerful to be able to contact a friend and say, we're going to Greece and to, to you know, say what date works for you and not have to say, can you afford it? You know, so that's what, I, I don't know what your life goals are for, or I don't know what it is that you uh, want to do with your life. But for me, that's a vision that I have for me and for the women in our community. But since I'm asking the question, let's jump in. Maryland, if you could go anywhere in the world, money not an issue for two weeks, where would you go? Damn, I think you already <laughs> know my answer. We went over this some years ago. I haven't made it there yet, but I'm on my way. I want to go to Paris, guys. I just want to go shoe shopping in Paris. I may not be able to wear them, but I'll, I'll have them in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> in bad knees. I know, right? <laughs> I got those in Paris, girl. <laughs> I want to be able to say that. Oh, Bora Bora. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bora Bora is definitely Tahiti. Bora Bora is, is yeah. definitely still on our list. What about you, Francis? What, where, where would you go? Money not being an object. You could just go wherever you want for two weeks with or without the babies because sometimes trips with the family is necessary, but sometimes they better without them. <laughs> Where's the babysitter at? Because <laughs> I'm out of here. Um, man, I there's a couple places like on my top, but I think Bali is one of the places that I would really like culturally just soak it all in. Yeah. Um, and I'm I want anything that like brings that extra peace. Um, like like really, you're there and you're just like. I I am where where I need to be like in nature grounding with my shoes off like all the weird stuff I want it all so um that that's it for me and you said something about retirement that I'm like man because you know I'll, I'll speak from like I guess a millennial perspective really quick but with retirement it's insane how you're seeing 19 20 year olds fully retired and it's crazy. And you listen to like some of the things that they're doing and they're investing, they're having conversations that their parents couldn't have with them because they didn't know better. 
So you have these, you know, I, I know a 22 year old heavily invested in the crypto space that'll never have to work another day in his life. So it's it like Pam said, really normalizing different conversations, because the truth is when you look at someone's traditional retirement plan, that typically involves something like what a 401k, right? But the thing about that is there's a lot of miseducation there too. Most people don't even know how a 401k structured, but they're just putting money in there because, hey, my employer's matching that. Not understanding that there are really big moves happening in the market. And your contributions into traditional retirement accounts are on a schedule, regardless of, of what's happening in the market. So this is a perfect example. If I knew Bitcoin was about to shoot up to 75,000, which wait on it, it's coming. If I'm on a schedule of contributing to my retirement, I couldn't position myself to fully benefit from that move if I wanted to, because I don't control that. And so I want to, like Pam said, with women, normalize the conversation of having control of that wealth in the sense that, hey, if I know this move is about to happen in the market, I'm going to position myself. I don't care if it's $1,000 that I position myself with. But the point is, I got to choose that. With a lot of traditional investments, uh, retirement accounts, everything's on a schedule, so yeah, you can contribute, but you ever paid attention when you wanted to raise your percentage of contribution, how it takes like two pay cycles before it kicks in, you've missed opportunity in the market technically. So when we look at like, why is it important? That's another reason it's important for me because I get to position myself, my daughter in ways that she'll never have to need a penny in her life, right? As long as I'm doing all the positioning right now. And this is a world of skill that is going to automatically transfer because these will be the conversations that she knows about money. And so that's, and like Pam said, I just want to be like, let's go. I'm trying to be drinking margaritas on the beach. By then they'll have a little scanner that says, scan your Bitcoin wallet address. Here you go. Thank you for my drinks. Drinks on us, right? Like that's the vision I have, but really going with women and just enriching people's life. Like I think of conversations that, you know, like Pam said, this vision and it's, I just want to educate people the way someone took the time to do for me. I want them to be enriched every time they come across one of us, right? And leave better than they came. And really just to empower them, like Pam said, and, and Marilyn touched on this. And girl, let me, let me check you real quick. You are an, an influencer, okay? had to check you real quick because this is about growth. You are there, sis, and it's only up from here. But it's really just when you get to come across other women that are unapologetic about wherever they are and where they're going, more importantly, that you just empower them to know you're capable, keep going. I'm with you right there, side by side. And so that's part of just to share, since Pam shared a little bit of that vision, is really just it doesn't matter what age you are, what color you are. I don't care if you're in a space where you want to get educated, you want to feel empowered, you want to be enriched every time you leave a conversation. You know, I heard a powerful woman, Wanda Webb, say something and it and I'll, I'll end my part with this. But she said, I'm so tired of people thinking or assuming that relationships shouldn't be reciprocal. No, sis, what value can you give me and what value can I give you? That's how relationships should work. I mean, there shouldn't be like this constant expectation of anything, but if you're coming to a space with value and your mindset is always valuable, you'll get value from people that you're attracting if you're attracting the right kind of people. So we need to get out of this space where we're just getting together about how we're spending all this money. That's wonderful, but, but how are we getting paid? <laughs> Let's talk about that part too. So that the spending is more fun because we know the other part is just passively growing. And that's really just where I'm at. Like it, there's, there's a saying that says when you really get to learn and you really get into a space where money's working for you, you'll never work for it again because it just doesn't feel the same. It just doesn't. And that's Pam, I'll get back to you. But I was like, since we're talking about vision real quick. <laughs> there's so much truth in that. And the reality is I, I, I talk you know, I bring up the subject of retirement only because I know, have you ever been, and this is, this is not taking jabs at anyone, but have you ever been in like a grocery store or you've been in Walmart and you see, you know, an elderly person, they're working 
they're not working at 75 or 80 because they want to. They're, they're working because they have to. And it's because, um, not that they didn't work hard because a lot of people work hard. But when I was younger, I grew up on, I grew up in, in severe poverty, poverty um, on food stamps and food rations. It was four girls and we had a two bedroom house and we just didn't have, we went winters, we grew up in Chicago, we went winters without um, gas. Uh, we had a cord hooked up to our neighbor to get lights. We was poor, poor. And I say all that because um, I, I don't want to be in a space later in life where I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to take care of things. I, do, I don't want to wait, honestly, until I'm 70 years old to travel. You know, that's the age now for full retirement is Social Security, by the way, is 70. It used to be 62. You can get partial Social Security at 62, but I don't, I don't want to wait around for $2,000 a month. You 70 years old and you, shoot, at 50 years old, my knee's giving out on me as it is. <laughs> I don't want to wait until I'm 70 until I could be able to travel somewhere because I'm waiting on this little bit of money. And I'm not knocking nobody. I'm saying for me. And I believe that I can break that chain and I can break that curse for so many women by just sharing my truth with all of you and that you can do the same because the more women that we have this conversation with, the more women's lives we can change. At 50 years old, you know, I know that there's nothing but, you know, sunshine and positive things happening for me, but I can tell you, I know a whole lot of women, one who's a friend of mine who won't make the investment in herself to change her life, but she can't, you know, she's struggling to come up with a hundred dollars a month to pay a light bill. And, you know, there's just some conversations that I, I really feel like it's more important for us to have. And one of them is empowering each other, empowering each other for success and setting up what does that future look like? Because, you know, as employees, we could work so much and a company will just, they will work you to death, literally. You will die one day on that job and they will replace your ass tomorrow, seriously. And that is no joke. They will send some little ratty flowers from Walmart or someplace to you and a representative. They will not cut your family no check. They will not pay you um, residual income, they will do nothing for you. You will have worked yourself for 20, 30 years and walk away with nothing but a little retirement income. And there's a lot of truth that goes to that. And I'm not knocking somebody because working is for some people. Everybody can't be a boss. Everybody can't run a business. It's not for everybody. But I, I, I'm trying to enrich my life with women who say, you know what, it's not for me. I'm, I've went that route and it doesn't work for me anymore. Or I don't want to go that route because it's not for me. So in terms of retirement, this is an opportunity, regardless of where you're at. If you're 25 years old, you got an early start. I wish I had learned this when I was 25. If you're 30, you got a really great start because now you got some wisdom behind you. But if you're 50 years old or older and you're like me, I can't even begin to tell you the impact you can make in the next two to three years that will set you up for the rest of your life. The rest of your life making small changes every single day picking up, learning which coins to pick up, which one of my favorites is Ethereum. Um, learning to, you know, buy coins and I even flip coins, which is a whole nother topic. But learning how I, I usually, basically I use cryptocurrency like real estate, like I used to do with real estate for years. I use it just like real estate. I buy and hold and some of my flip. So, um, but we'll get off our soapbox, ladies. It's so much more that we're going to be sharing with you guys come next week. We're starting our crypto and coffee, um, which we'll be posting that information, but we're going to be going live on crypto and coffee dot biz starting next Monday from 10 a.m. to 1030, 1045 or whenever we shut our mouths because we love to talk about crypto. And I want to invite you guys to join us every day. We're going to have new topics. We're going to have special guests, um, boss boss women who are killing the world of crypto who are going to share their insight on how you can become more invested um, we'll be sharing our favorite cryptocurrencies things that you should be looking at things that you should be investing in and and then continuing to share um testimonies we're going to love to have your testimony if you're part of this community on how this business has changed your life how cryptocurrency has changed your life and what it's done for you um, and more importantly, how you can get involved. And I'll, I'll end with that unless you ladies want 
to say anything else, but it's a $200 investment, uh, less than $200 every single month to get involved in this community if you just want to learn crypto. And um, the best way to do it to me is to get involved with a couple friends. And if you do that and you have two friends join you, then the membership is free. You get access to all of this. Like I tell my husband, all this. You get all of this for less than $200. And, and access to this amazing community. It doesn't matter whether you came in today, yesterday, you get access to me and all the other amazing women, Francis, Marilyn, Andrea, uh, Jamelia, all of the amazing women in our community who are changing lives, who are making some boss ass moves, who are um, building portfolios. I tell you what, there's, it is something about talking about my portfolio to other women that just makes me feel real grown and sexy. I'm just going to be honest. When I'm talking about my portfolio now, instead of just talking about, you know, mediocre, mediocre stuff, I'm like, yeah, girl. So I was thinking about getting me three more Ethereum. And I just feel like a grown ass woman when I discuss <laughs> is it just me y'all or it, 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 I, I don't uh -uh. like grab me a fun. cigarette and have it, it does for that, you know yeah I was just checking my portfolio and it's up another thousand dollars so what are you doing today darling right <laughs> <laughs> with the Cruella stick right, right like right. let me go get my fur jacket but not yeah. really fur, I just right? I just feel kind of great he doesn't hurt as much <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it is but when I have these conversations I feel, and I'm not the like the world's expert but I just feel like I have grown so much as a woman like I know yeah. it's because I have done a whole lot of things but something about this just makes me feel real geeky and empowered like girl go ahead and get like I was talking to my brother and I was like go ahead and get you um a couple I said get you two three ethereum you know <laughs> come talk to me in august yeah, yeah let's let's do this he was like you think it's gonna grow, go up sis and i was like oh absolutely and while you're at it grab you a few white coins and i'm just casually having this conversation but i was like wow you sound kind of sexy over here right talking about oh, crypto. <laughs> yes i got issues y'all don't pay attention to me no, no it is y'all have am. the same issue and I, I think it's you know a lot of people don't have and, and, and another option. And that's why we started this is we, we, we want to expose women to this opportunity. It's just that some people just don't know what else to do. And that's why we created this coffee and crypto so that hopefully we can go global and show women, you know, and men how this, is, this can actually change a life. So the more people we reach, the better the more sisters we gain, um, the more grown up we're gonna be feeling. Because we're, I'm, I'm actually, guys, I'm actually taking my 401k money because you know I got that coming after I quit my job. That's going to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, it's okay. It's going to oh. triple up before they yeah. can even put any kind. I of already know where it's going. <laughs> I'm gonna buy me some Ethereum, some Let's go. Bitcoin. It's going straight into it because that money is just there. My paycheck is the same every two weeks it's the same but in my portfolio that money is moving and it's growing so yep. that's sexy to me my it, portfolio is sexy it's right very sexy and it, it doesn't it feel sexy to say my portfolio okay right? I mean, <laughs> up with my with my phone checking my portfolio and my husband's like uh excuse me ma'am i'm here <laughs> <laughs> oh wait let, right let me remind myself yeah. and you know one thing to piggyback and this is the last thing really that I have to add because I could be on here all day too this is fun for me like where else can you really go just have fun geek out and like really make an impact this is it and I love it y'all for real yeah but one I thing agree. that I love when Pam you know Pam said for me it just came natural to share with my friends so I took advantage of the free uh membership but uh, the one thing that really caught my attention for the 199 for crypto, right, for, for this space was the live mentorship piece. Like everything that I've learned over the last, let's say, seven months or so, because I didn't start with crypto, but it's not information that I just like brilliantly found in the market. No, like I've been guided every single day with live mentorship. Some of the stuff we learned last night. I am mind blown 
I'm, I'm a baseball head. I know people think it's boring, but I think it's my Hispanic roots in me. I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican. And so baseball is just something I like. And so to hear that the MLB is partnering in the crypto space, I was mind blown. And so to know that I, I was going to have access to a live community at all times that I needed it to ask the questions like, wait, what do I buy? Cause I don't even know what any of this means, but just tell me what to buy. Cause I want a portfolio. What does that look like? And so that was the biggest thing for me. Like I've spent money on a lot of silly things, those shoes for Latin night that I could not use. Cause thank you. COVID went into a really good investment that now it really just changed everything. Like, you know, like Pam said, now I say like, you know, my friends are talking about silly stuff. Like some of the people I used to hang out with just talking about silly stuff like yeah you want to go to so-and-so's baby shower that looks like a wedding by the way no shade but I'm like what what is the expectation when they get married I'm not saying don't dream big but dang a wedding for a baby shower that's a little different um but but then you sit down and this is why finding a community of like-minded women is important because I love them but we're just not having the same conversation that's why it doesn't make sense to them because they're they're not in the space where they're they're wanting to have that conversation so to them you know they'll they'll go spend five hundred dollars on a purse that depreciates the minute you walk out the store (laughs) but they won't take two hundred dollars to invest into a life-changing conversation like i'll just say conversation because the investment part it is natural, but the conversation, you need to be around people that are not afraid to have big money conversations. And so that was it for me. I needed to live everything. <laughs> yeah. Hey, real quick, I was going to say, that's why I glued to y'all. Um, I know I just unmuted myself, but Francis and Pam, I just like a magnet draw. I'm 34 and I'm from South Texas and everyone here is worried about going where or picking up something somewhere at the mall and corpus is small ain't nothing better to do but spend your money and i just i glued to y'all and i want to thank both of y'all pam and francis for allowing me to just sneak in everything that y'all share but um i i love i love being with my ear and and i wanted to say thank you thank you so much i i went to high school with wanda and in 2018, I was started the Forex trading, but I'm an electrician by trade. And I was in the refinery here and I just couldn't handle it. I had a like 18 month old baby, mother-in-law in a nursing home. I couldn't handle everything. And I tried and um, I was doing well, but I just was, didn't give it enough attention. And now baby's grown. I got, I'm on a furlough. I said, what am I doing with my time? Like Wanda's still there killing it. Like I remember when she was literally two weeks in and I didn't, I, I don't know. And I kicked myself in the butt. Like you said, like Cam said, you, yours is millions. Mine is just thousands. But man, I, I always say, why did I do that? Why did I do that? But that brought me back. And I, I wanted to say, thank you for for you guys allowing me to glue to y'all and I'll be here as long as I can. So thank you. <laughs> yes, I love it. And, and, and you know what? It, it really is about that. It's about us impacting each other's lives because everybody has a story. You know, everyone has a story and your story might be different. Um, I, I shared on my page the other day, I said, everybody's dealing with some type of pain and you know, it's, it's, why it's important to be nice to each other but it's also important to you know uplift each other um the the calls and the sessions for me help me you know my husband is um going through stage four cancer right now and there are days where i wake up and i you know i i feel like this and then there are other days where i just want to pull the cover over my head and and have this night be over so um, but what it does is it holds us accountable to each other. It holds us holding. And then I'll, I'll, I'll stop running my mouth. I told you that second cup of coffee did it. But there is something, I used to run masterminds all the time with some very powerful women, you know, six, seven figure earners, coaches, all coaches. And we all coached in our respective spaces. Um, but one of the things 
that doing that did for me is it made me level up. You know, here I am, um, I'm, I'm connected and vibing with these powerful women who, who are lawyers, who are doctors and um, doing TED Talks and doing all of these powerful things. And here I am with my little high school diploma, making as much impact and changing the world in the same way. And it reminded me that it's your message, not, not your mess, not what you got going on behind the scenes, but it's the message that you can share with people, even if part of that message is your mess, even if it is that you're in transition. You know, like right now I'm in a physical transition to get back to my normal weight. And for a minute, I was like, I don't want to do videos because I, I don't want, um, I want people to see me a certain way. And then I realized after speaking with Wanda that, you know, it was, you know, my, my mess is my message, you know, that even in this space of transition, that I can change lives and I can impact people. And so, Andre, I say that to say to you that it wasn't your time then, for whatever reason, that just wasn't your time. You know, listen, we've all been there where somebody has introduced us to something and it made sense, but it didn't make sense for us. You know, it, and we could all go back to the woulda, shoulda, couldas. And we've missed out on a lot of opportunities, a lot of friendships, a lot of money, a whole lot of a lot of things. But the reality was, is that just wasn't for us then. And we're all here in this space right now together for a reason. And that's to make an impact on each other's lives in ways that, you know, we can't even imagine right now. It's, it's, it's all up for the imagination as to what's going to come for us. But I'm, I'm thankful to have this, uh, this space to share. I don't care if it's 10 of us or if it's, you know, 10,000 of us. Um, I'm glad that we can make an impact on each other's lives and remind each other how powerful we are as women, um, how powerful we are um, as mothers, you know, as, as wives, as spouses, um, and how we can make such a huge impact by just showing up. And that's what we did today. So um, if you ladies wanna add anything, no, that was powerful. Thank you, Pam. And yes, girl, we are all here for a reason. And I'm telling you, um, I guess I do have one last thing, but <laughs> like Pam said, this is really um, what I say to myself every single day that I get to sit in circles with all of you is you have no choice but to level up. Like you're not here for minimum. Stop. Okay. So, and that's literally like my self-talk every single time, whether it's you know, I'm on here or I'm on another call with someone else is no, this is your time to really show up and be everything you, you can possibly be. You don't even know what that looks like yet. So that's what being around women like this does for you. It pulls out those parts of you that you try to hide sometimes because you kind of know they're there, but you don't really know what they look like when they come out. And so being in, in circles like this, like you get that greatness pulled out of you, whether you want to or not, because I mean, what other choice do you have? Just elevate with them, right? I don't want to be hanging behind. Nah, -uh, I'm coming. I'm coming. So thank you, Pam. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, all of you that are on here. Thank you guys so much. We're going to close out today's session again, starting next Monday. Next Monday, we will be live at 10 a.m. And we will um, be doing these sessions Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. We would love for you to invite your friends, any women you love, any women you know. We're gearing this towards women because it's our time, y'all. Have a great afternoon.